few weeks ago, I built the ground level to this deck with the idea being that it wraps around my tiny house camper van and provides increased living space while I complete the renovation on my little cabin here in the rainforest. The space has already been an absolute game changer for guests. However, it is about to go up another level. But first, let's activate work mode. Yeehaw, cowboy. It is going to be a scorcher today. I think it's going to be over 30 degrees. And yesterday, I already started on the preparation for these beautiful staircases. I picked up these bits of beautiful bits of timber from a restorer's barn. They're actually red mahogany. I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. Can confirm. I would love to just start putting the stairs on straight away. However, it will give you splinters going up them. So I'm getting rid of the big stuff with the planer, then I'll go over it with the belt sander. Oh. Okay, fine. Maybe move here. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go over here. Fine. Okay. Working with reclaimed timber is definitely a little bit more work and um, yeah, it's taking a bit longer than I imagined. <laughs> oh my God. I look like I've been counting with Mississippis. How do you count to five? One, two, three. Damn it! Wow. <laughs> First, head over to Max's timber yard here, and these beauties are gonna be my stairs. So they also need quite a lot of sanding. First things first, let's clear the work site. Have a look how nicely these stairs are coming up. All this timber here that I'm using for the stairs is actually landscaping material, which means it's a lot cheaper because it does have some cracks, but I think it adds character. They're still plenty strong. And for all of that timber combined, it was 130 bucks. So now what I've done here is I'm measuring the height to make the stairs. The maximum you can apparently make them that it's still comfortable is 250 mil, which is currently the height it's at but I measured all the way up from the top to where the last step can be down and I've divided by the number of steps I have, which is 11 and that makes 230 mil, which is better because it means that step height's a little bit closer together. This is gonna be lowered a little bit and I am gonna finally start connecting these stairs. What I'm doing now is gonna have blocks the marker line because this is going to make it so much easier doing this on my own. Theory is it will now sit on the blocks and I'll be able to screw it in from the end. All right, let's see how that feels. Hey, one small step for man. If anyone's got a tip to stop this smoking business, please let me know. Wow. 
Wow. I am so stoked with how this staircase is coming up. It feels super solid underfoot. I've got a bit a bit to work around here. But um look how bloody high we are. Check out this view from the top. Oki's clearly so impressed. And unfortunately we are starting to lose daylight. I'm also getting a little bit tired and I think that's where I'm gonna make mistakes, which obviously isn't good when you're close to three meters in the air. I'm gonna pack it up for tonight and um, finish these bad boys off in the morning. So stoked with how that's come up, honestly. This was what the, these stringers, the side rails were like when we started this a couple of days ago. And now look at them. See you in the morning. I bloody love my new staircase. And this is actually a super comfortable position. Couple of things before we go any further. One is that today is November 14th and although a lot of you won't understand the significance to that, I want to celebrate today. It is a great day. Two, on the other side of the spectrum, is that I recently received some news regarding a close friend of mine that really rocked me but also reminded me that life can change in an instant and please 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 never take anything for granted i think it's so important and i think more important than ever this is just a reminder to be kind to everyone don't take anything for granted and give everyone you love a huge huge hug whenever you can and whilst we're on that note if you are struggling or there's something getting in the way of your happiness i couldn't recommend seeing a therapist enough they've helped give me the building blocks to cope with the heavier things that come in life and i as a lot of you know see my therapist through better help I want to take a quick moment to say a huge thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. BetterHelp is an online platform that connects you with a licensed therapist that is trained to listen and give you helpful, unbiased advice. I've been seeing my therapist, Emma, through BetterHelp for over two years now. And honestly, whenever something like this does happen and I need someone to talk to straight away, I always hit Emma up with a message and tee up a video chat as soon as I can. BetterHelp can match you to one of over 30,000 therapists in their network, which which gives you access to a far wider range of expertise than may be available in your local area. The truth is starting therapy can be hard, but BetterHelp makes it easy to get started. You simply fill out a questionnaire to assess your specific needs, and then you'll get matched with a therapist, in most cases, in as little as 48 hours. Some people find the face-to-face -face interaction of therapy uncomfortable. The beauty of BetterHelp is you can do it your way, whether that's via messaging, video call or just normal phone calls. And what I really love about that is it gives me the flexibility to take my therapy sessions no matter where I am in the world or what I'm doing at the time. If you think you might benefit from starting to see a therapist, which let's face it, I think most of us would, then consider joining the 4 million plus people that have used BetterHelp to start living a healthier, happier life. Click the link in the video description below or head to betterhelp.com forward slash Max and Oki and that's help H-E-L-P and you'll get 10% off your first month of therapy. Honestly, I couldn't recommend it highly enough and it is so nice to be able to chat to my therapist when times do get tough. All right, let's get back into it. It's here. Outdoor shower has arrived, buddy. Could this mark the end of van showers? This is it, Oc. Oh, baby. If you watched my last video, I put the call out for the best outdoor shower going around. ABI Interiors has answered. They have sent me the bee's knees of outdoor showers. Please wear gloves when installing. Okay. So it's brushed brass over stainless steel, designed to be an outdoor shower. As with any install, I feel like it's important to lay out all your pieces. Look how nice this looks. As expected, we need to do a quick little dippy dip into town for a few parts. See you soon. Your Majesty. Great success. Hey Oki, look what I got you. Ideally, you would install this shower before you did the decking, so 
It's gonna be a little bit trickier than normal, but I think we'll be able to manage. <laughs> is it gonna be big enough? And the answer is no. Yeah, baby. Lying in the dirt is just another reason I want this shower done by this afternoon. Now, typically when you install this shower, you would do it on like a concrete base or at least a very level base underneath. Problem is, under this deck, it's a sloping block. So what my plan is to kind of account for that, I'm gonna do a little modification where I'm gonna install this onto this landscape grade sleeper. It's H3 treated pine, so it's very water resistant. It is not gonna be sitting on the ground. I'm gonna screw it in between the bearers here. So it is gonna be super solid. I'll line it up with this. It's gonna be easy. It's gonna be easy, I'm sure. I will be so, so happy if I get this lined up perfectly the first time. Hot and cold. No. Time clean up, Ock. You gonna help? So no outdoor shower tonight, I'm afraid. Still going. You ready for another day of it, Ock? Okay, yesterday's attempt at the shower install was definitely a bit of a fail, but now we back. And I've been to Bunnings. I've got the parts I need to now make this work. I plan on things moving very quickly from here because I haven't had a shower today and I'm refusing to have another shower here unless it's outdoors. Pressure's on. We're already going better than we were yesterday. Just one in. We are flying. These connectors, I'm not sure if you can see them, but essentially they've got the male BSP thread on this end and on this end they're push connectors. So I'm going to be able to just push in the PEX piping and we're going to be straight connected up. Lovely. If I've done this correctly, this will hopefully be the last time I have to put this in place. So now it's straight underneath, we have access for everything and all I need to do is make this level. Okay, it's taken some fiddling, but I think she's pretty level. You let me know. How's she looking? Well, as I introduced you to yesterday, this is the solar outdoor shower from ABI Interiors. It's beautiful, and if you've been following me for a long time, this is not the first product from them you've seen me use because I actually used one of their taps in my van build. After a little trim up, it is in, and it is perfect. Now, I just need to connect it at the house. It's now a good time to mention that I'm slightly claustrophobic. <sighs> Easy. For some reason, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all so, so much for your response into me finally releasing merch. Honestly, I was overwhelmed with how many of you have picked up one of my hoodies, one of the shirts. The Be Kind Always has been super, super popular and Really, I think that just says something about all of you guys. And yeah, I'm so blessed to have such amazing community. 
This video is still gonna be up in time. If you wanna buy some of your own merch, it's gonna be linked in the video description below. And you have until December 1st if you wanna get some for Christmas. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, this is gonna be easy. Yeah. I did experience some more creepy crawlies since I saw you last. <laughs> oh, and spider warning. Hey. Hey, buddy. You're a big guy. I had a buddy hanging out 10 centimeters from my head. A beauty. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't need a shower. Do I need a shower? Are you gonna have a shower in your little doggy shower too? We can be shower buddies. I can see the copper plumbing going to my outdoor laundry basin. So my plan is just to put a T piece on each of these. The pipes are coming from here, T into that, and then Bob's your uncle, we're on hot water. This is it, the moment of truth. Just like the staircase, this is the first outdoor shower I've ever plumbed in. It does say you're meant to use a qualified plumber, so fingers crossed. Please put in the comments right now. Do you think there's gonna be leaks? or it's gonna work like a charm. Here we go. <laughs> I'm so nervous and excited. Okay, mains is on. There's water. There's no leaking at either of these fittings and this feels hot. Good signs. So you can see the pipes all in the trench now. Got no leaking under here. That's all dry. Well, that one's working, and it's a boy. Oh, my. Oh. She's flowing, baby, and it is shower time. You can't even begin to imagine how much I've been looking forward to this upgrade. A huge thank you to ABI Interiors. They specialize in kitchen and tapware. I'll link their website in the description below. Go check them out. That may be the biggest game changer I've had on this property so far. Well, they weren't lying when they said you can feel like a new man after a hot shower. That is not only one of the best showers I've ever had, I also love the way the gold just blends in with the green and the sunshine coming through. In terms of drainage, underneath I installed a system that is going to catch the water and have it so it filters out down below. That way just ensuring there's no water milling around the posts. Finally, if you're worried about the decking itself getting wet, don't be. If you watched the last video, you'll know I used Eco Deck decking, and that is composite decking. So it's made out of at least 80% recycled timber and plastic combination, which makes it way more rot resistant. It also means you don't need to seal it, sand it, anything like that. It is going to last a very, very long time. All right, for now, I'm going to start preparing to go up another level and pack up some of this chaos behind me. See you in the morning. So I'm doing something I've never done before, which is, well, a lot of this I've never done before, but I am using the bearers as joists, if that makes sense. So I'm using a little bit more of the bearers, which is the kind of heavier duty framing material, but it's going to mean I don't need to put any joists on top of them. And um, it's going to kind of keep it all condensed and compact. Time for a time lapse and a music montage. Well, that ain't good. <laughs> Always happens when I'm running behind schedule and it's getting heavy.
We are straight into it this morning. Had a beautiful shower, very quick fuel up, and a tutorial on how to do the next new skill. I am going to be waterproofing this upper floor because obviously, as you saw yesterday, it rains a lot here. We're in the rainforest, and to have this whole space as a completely dried in space, especially once the van's parked up to it, is going to be very, very nice. I'm going to be using this uh, Trex rain escape system. It looks relatively straightforward to install. This is my last full build day and I'm actually kind of glad because my body's getting pretty sore. I have a few hours tomorrow before my guests arrive to do the finishing touches. Let's see if we can get it done. So you'll see how this works as I progress, but these are the downspouts that end up in the gutter. As you can see, I accidentally ordered too short, so I'm gonna do my own little uh, modifications to get those ones working. Hey, what do you think? How is the view? Now, she doesn't look beautiful on this end, However, as you can see, that was my first attempt. It's kind of gotten better. And there's that slope down. So this is what it looks like from underneath. I do plan on eventually finishing under here. And you enjoy the shady area, do you, buddy? And it is time for the final decking. Finally. Now, first piece is always the hardest. Lovely. So I'm using this old camo. It's a hidden screw system for these top ones. And essentially what it does is it puts all the screws in the sides of the decking boards. So as they go together, you won't see any screw marks all the way along for these ones. So what I'm gonna do, especially at this end, I'm gonna let them run long and then I'll just cut them all at the end. It's way quicker. That's one piece down. Let the party begin. This is what I don't miss about using plain wood, not composite decking. Look at the bow in that. I'll try and bend that back in with the clamps. Well, that was Oki celebrating just because it's the final piece. And thank God, because I am bloody exhausted. The final piece fits in nicely there and is snug right to the edge, ready for the trim. But really, that's just all finishing stuff. For those wondering why I went with the Merbu for the top level when I've gone Eco Deck on the bottom, Eco Deck and composite decking in general can get really hot if it's in direct sunshine all the time. And because obviously this is the top level, it's going to cop a lot of sun. That's why I went with the Merbu. But I have to say, wow, I missed the Eco Deck because the that took me probably four or five times as long as it should have because all the boards were warped and I had to manipulate them. We are down to the finishing touches. I have my guests coming tomorrow, but I have half a day to get those touches done and I will show you the final product and uh, yeah, there'll be a grand reveal. Let me know, do you think my guest is gonna be impressed with my deck? I think so. Well, it may have taken me three weeks, but I think I may have made the most luxurious van deck ever built. You ready for a tour? Starting right at the start, we have a little solar lantern to light our entrance as we come in. And now we have this beautiful undercover area that is completely waterproof. It's already passed the first test this morning. So completely dry and you can see the water all coming out the gutters. You wipe your paws as you enter and you come into the main living space of the van. Like I said, the idea of this space is to be able to walk all the way through and the back of the deck joins it to continue the living space out onto the view and then we start with the new additions. 
I have to say this is my favorite one because to be, have access to this beautiful outdoor shower has been a dream of mine for so long. Oh, you don't mind it either, do you, buddy? I'm gonna flick that one off. And now to the staircase. This is the first staircase I've ever built. I absolutely love it. It makes coming up to this second level so easy and something that I will be doing every day. And look how nice this has come up. And as you can see, we are already guest ready. Well, I'd like to think that if I was a guest and I turned up to this setup, I'd be pretty damn happy. Let me know what is your favorite feature on the deck. Honestly, this vision of mine, I could never have imagined it would turn out so damn well. And I'm actually very proud <laughs> of what I've achieved here. This deck setup is gonna be such a game changer that's gonna make my life so much more comfortable as I continue to tackle the rest of the builds here on this off-grid property. I cannot wait for each and every moment of it. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. In the meantime, be kind to yourself and be kind to one another. Bye guys.